Hi guys, you're going to have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold, but I'm going to try and show you some of the techniques I used to get my RAM up to speed. Now my RAM, if you can see here, is Corsair DDR4 1066 or 2133. You see it there? It's meant to run at that, but you can have it running at 1333. Okay, so 1333, it's 2666. Here you go, I've got it running at 3200, 1600 megahertz. Now how did I do this guys? I used a couple of tools. These tools will be linked down below. But I will try and show you them. One's called... Typhoon burner. Now, what you want to do with Typhoon burner is open it up. You want to click, you have to excuse the noise. You want to click the read button. You can read if both your sticks are the same as mine and are, you can just click either. You can see how that's read my memory part there. And you need to know this bit for later who's the components made by mine's micron you can see they're micron down here you can see it's b die okay so mine's micron b die now what you want to do then is you want to go to report go down to the bottom here and hit show delay in nanoseconds then go up here and export to complete HTML report okay so that's how you want to do that I'm just gonna call it my report and what you can do then is close out of that and open the second program which is the calculator now what you want to do here is you're going to have to import input some things your generation of Ryzen remember mine was Micron B die profile version start with V1 if that doesn't work for you, you go for the V2 the frequency you want your RAM to run at so I want mine to run at 3200 now I left the rest motherboard how many dims you've got you want to go now to import import XMP and do you remember that report you saved my report I saved it as and that's gonna fill in that's gonna fill in everything for you there okay now here you can go XMP calculate safe calculate safe you can also show your timings that's what they're at now so the ones in green are what I'm at now the ones in red are the safe timings you can try the XMP one or the safe one like I said just if you if you want you can I don't know why it keeps putting debug up there let me pull that back to V1 let me just see something it's probably because I'm it's done it again anyway let me go calculate safe and these are the timings it's give me that's safe okay don't think you can do fast no you can't on this so you calculate your safe you put your timings in um, obviously it would it would all depend on you know the speed you want you put the speed you want in there and there you go now there's other timings over here okay and 
and that's how I did it guys using these two tools I got my RAM up to 3200 MHz there you go so see this is showing the timings I've got like here I've got 53 it's saying I can run that at 38 but if you look at my my cast latency I'm at 16 it's telling me it's safe at 19 so my my latency is much low I'm also at 1T down here and guys I don't want to rattle on about this any questions down below um, I've shown you how you can find out your die you must put that in there obviously your Ryzen gen there I don't know oh, this, this is power supply stuff honestly I haven't even been in here so you can have a look in here if you want I haven't even been in here there's other calculators here what can calculate things I've not been in there either I've been in the mem bench this is where you can test for errors okay you can also use this advanced I've been in there to be honest I found the biggest help if yours is micron B die is get your DRAM voltage up to 1.35 soon as you bang that up basically all I had to do was bang that up 1.35 bang my frequency up and the rest here I left on auto I tried putting them in and um, I couldn't get a nice balance it wanted so that's how I did it it was just basically using this to get an idea this gave me the idea of the voltage and the sock voltage once those were done it worked so yeah I've got my RAM from 26 66 up to 3200 and it makes a, a fair bit of difference to be honest I hope this helps you guys and I'll catch you in the next one